in a previous video, I talked about that I had a flat tappet cam that I wanted to put in my C10 to compete with my cousin Ramondez with the Fox body. I told y'all, cubic inches, this is 306, and he got some little work done to it. Um, but I'm gonna try to make my 350 be competitive with this 306. It does perform well. I do have a video of me doing a ride reaction in it. I would link it to y'all, but I don't want y'all to leave yet, so don't go nowhere. But I'm gonna link it to y'all at, at the end of this video, so stay tuned. But the cam that I got is a flat tappet cam, and I know you can make good power with a flat tappet cam, but that cam only has like four, 400 and something lift. It is a mother thumper cam from Comp. Um, I actually got it for a really good price is the reason why I bought it. Um, but I do have a roller block, so I'm thinking about going with some LS7 lifters, getting the little spider to go in there, and uh, everything that I need to put a roller cam in it so that I can make the most power so I can try to be competitive because he's a lot lighter and there's a lot of stuff that he has over me. So um, let's, let's, let's dive into talking about flat tappet cam. So if you don't know what a flat tappet cam is, your cams have a piece of the cam that touch, I mean, a piece of the lifter that touches the cam. On a flat tappet cam, it is just a flat load, right? And when you got a roller, you have least resistance. You have less resistance and it rolls over that cam a lot better than a flat tappet cam, which basically makes you make more power um, and it keeps your valve open longer from my research. So that would definitely equal more power, you know, so um, he already has an advantage over me and I, I think he said his cam has every bit of 500 and something lift. So I got to try to get up there into those five so I can be competitive with him because he's gonna make more power faster than I will. So uh, I don't know if y'all can hear that thunder, but it is thunder out here, but I owe y'all a video. Today is Saturday, I was supposed to drop one yesterday. I owe y'all a video, so. Um, flat tappet cams also have a big deal with people wiping the lobes on them, man. And that's the thing that I've been scared of since I bought this cam. I've watched a lot of videos and people have just been wiping lobes on the cam, wiping lobes, and I'm very inexperienced with them. I may in the future try a flat tappet cam, or I may keep that cam and I may uh, try it. And uh, my dad does have an S10, so maybe I can convince him to let me put that flat tappet cam in a 350 block for him, and maybe we can throw it in the S10 and see what happens. I know it'll perform well in that, in that uh, S10, but, um, but yeah, so I find a cam, a Summit brand cam. I can't remember the part number. It might be like 8803 or something. But it's a hydraulic roller cam. Has like 500 and something lift. Has some good duration. Uh, I think it has a 112 load separation. So that cam should perform very well. Supposed to, the power range is supposed to be from like two grand all the way out to like 6,500. Uh, so who knows guys, I don't know. Yeah, I, I already got the flat tabby cam. So, you know, we still could end up going that route. But uh, hydraulic roller is definitely on, on my plans. And like I said, guys, you guys know I'm going with some different aluminum heads on that on that build. Uh, so, like I said, guys, we just I just wanted to check in so you guys won't feel betrayed when I come back with a with a hydraulic roller cam and uh, we throw that in there. But uh, man, this was just supposed to be a really quick one, man. Uh, nothing too long, nothing too crazy. Um, but I will be throwing a lot of visuals up here, man. When I show y'all, when I talk about the hydraulic roller and the flat tappet, I will throw y'all some visuals up here of what they look like. And uh, yeah, man, if you're trying to make power, I would say go with a hydraulic roller. Uh, if you just want something that sounds good, you can definitely do it with a flat tappet cam. Just know the risk of wiping that lobe on that cam and then you gotta break your whole engine back down and basically redo everything again. Probably, possibly even go in the bottom end to try to make sure you don't have any metal shavings out there from, from the cam actually wipe it man so I just want to talk about that man because this is something I've been thinking about and I like to keep y'all in the loop didn't have no content this week we are still trying to get the cat we still trying to get the transmission in Iron Man right now we're waiting on a vacuum line a little vacuum line that go on the back if you know anything about turbo 350 you know what I'm talking about the little vacuum line that go on the back and the shifting linkage has some little plastic bushings and different things that have to go in and that wasn't there. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put them in, I'm gonna do it the right way. So I'm waiting on that to come in. It should be here sometime this week. 
And I think that's it, man. All the lines are ran. Uh, I do have to wire up the trans cooler so that the fan kicks on and uh, keep, keeps that fluid cool. But I can crank it up for a few minutes and, uh, you know, drive it and move it uh, once that vacuum line comes in and once those uh, things for the shifter come in. So, uh, yeah, man, that's that's what we got. That's what we at. All right, guys, as promised, the other video where I did the ride reaction in my cousin's uh, 306, I'm going to link it for y'all right here. And here's something else I want y'all to do. Let me know what y'all think I need to do. Do I just need to drop the whole 350 idea all together? Or do y'all think I can beat that car? So y'all let me know. I got y'all some outside visuals, inside visuals. So y'all should be able to gauge this car. And I tell y'all what, y'all can go on his channel. Cars with Dez. He did a draggy test. I think the car did a 0 to 60 in like 4 point some seconds, which is pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Um, so yeah, man, y'all go over there, y'all do y'all research, y'all drop me some combinations, or do I just need to go straight for the 383? Y'all let me know. Like I said, video should still be right here for y'all. Pulls TV, gone.